Coming up on V Girl TV. squad and welcome back to another episode of V Girl TV. Welcome back to my canal, the YouTube. Today I am so excited because we are headed to my favorite city. We are heading to the city of Colón and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because I am going to introduce you to some of the most amazing children from the city. So before we headed into the main city, my mom wanted to go into the Sonar Libre so that she can get Christmas decorations. Y'all y'all know my mom does not play when it comes to Christmas. And Christmas in Panama is nothing short but of amazing. One of the things that I love the most about Cologne is the fact that it brings back so much memories from my childhood, walking through the city with my grandmother. May she rest her soul in peace. And not only that, there's so much culture that still thrives here. Another thing that I admire about Cologne is its people. The people of Cologne are so resilient. It kind of reminds me of a proverb that I've always go back to whenever I feel like I'm facing some type of adversity. It's your reaction to adversity, not adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. And the people of Cologne are truly examples of that. So fun fact guys, you see that pink building with the yellow sign? My dad used to live in that same exact building. So now we head to Barrio Norte and we're going to meet up with Delano, Dubison, and the kids. <laughs> This is the basketball court where we'll be having a presentation. Now, if you look down to the end, where we have what we call it north side, south side. Mm -hmm. We have some of the kids here, base area. All people down here, this is a family. This is what we call community. So this is one of the mother of one of the children that live in the top floor. That young lady over there, she's the best in computer, computer science. Really? Yeah, of course. Voila. That's her, her youngest sister. Yeah. And if you all can see, this is the neighborhood. Much prepared to be done, but we will take care of it. Hola. Hola. Ven a me. Ajá. ¿Y tú de dónde eres? Look. De calle 4 Central y Melena. De Colón. Colón. Ajá. Me inteligente. <laughs> That's one is bilingual. You speak very good English. You speak English? Yes. So I don't Everything understand that. School. What's that? Siga, sigue este veladito. Talk to me in English. Sigue él. Se ordena lo sigue él. Ven, 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 ven. Dile algo en inglés. No sé. Lo que sea. My name is Aldair. Uh huh. And tell me. My name is. My name is Alai. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And this is Slim. That's my Barbie doll right there. Uh, uh, <laughs> and this, this is, this is, this is. This he think he's messy. He is right here. You know how to football? The best. Entonces voy a traer a mi hijo. Mejor delantero. Y tú vas a jugar con mi hijo, porque mi hijo juega fútbol. Déjame mostrarte, espérate. Te va a ganar. What's your name? Dale. My name is? Oh, yeah. My name is? Ajá. Chola. Hola, Chola. Después dice que no te hablo. Diga. This is my African queen right here. Ajá. ¿Qué, qué, qué? ¡Dora! 
Very, very good student. Muy buen estudiante. No hay fracaso. Dile. No, dile en español. No hay fracaso. No hay fracaso. Bien hecho. So when I did this, I did it. So after meeting with some of the kids, Orlando took us to his office so we can see some of his amazing artwork, very African inspired, and I was kind of blown away at some of the things that he showed and at some of the things that he explained to us. What about to see is what we call the first Panamanian Afro-Caribbean embassy in 4th Street. So now what you have here is all Caribbean that came into Panama. And we are descendants of the large majority. We are the second generation of the large majority of the people that are here in this world. This was the first exodus of railroad workers. Oh wow! I didn't. I where'd you get that picture from? These are these are all recorded from our archives. This is people from Saint Croix, Saint Thomas, Saint Lucia, Grenada, Jamaica. And they worked along Springwell, which was the guy who got the contract from the U.S. coming to Panama to do this part of what they call Corte Culeva. A lot of us actually perished in this place. Mm -hmm. And that's why on the 27th, if everything goes well, we will be doing a tour tour there with all of the children. Mm -hmm. We will have like a, a cruise go through the whole, so that they can understand how our ancestors actually worked, labored very hard and why today I will always speak of the minimum wage that we live in through because we had the minimum wage back then and we have it in this era and we have it today and that's why we cannot progress the way we should have we are living because we were but we can't speak about we got generational wealth because it does not exist you know so these nails right here are originals from the railroad Gamboa area, the city of Colón. Where you got? How you get that? You can touch it. Come, touch it. Oh wow! Feel a piece of history. It's very. <laughs> yeah. It's real, real, it's real, real nails. Yeah, I was gonna say so iron. They, yeah, they spoke about sticking a couple of these into the arms of Jesus Christ. Well, Imagine they stuck that. A lot of these, huh? Imagine them sticking the. They energy. stuck a lot of these in the arms of black people. And the scars that we bear in our back, so we have to claim what is rightfully ours. So after such a long day, we were hungry, so we decided to stop at a restaurant in Colón that's called Dos Mares. I got the fish and plants in, and my mom got rice with bacalao. It was a really good and hopeful. So, as usual, guys, I enjoyed my stay in Cologne, but it was time for me to go. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, guys, peace and love.